is Shani Singh. I want to learn how to behave properly in the society after knowing the truth. I don't seem to gel in with others. I am an undergoing lot of problems. I don't feel like staying any longer. Very good. And the first step is knowing the truth. Start by knowing the truth. As soon as you know it, your behavior will change. You will be able to behave properly. May acknowledge your goal, not the society or behavior. Everything happens after that. When you want to open a lock, you don't need a hammer. You need the key. And knowledge is the key. Trying to change the behavior is like hitting the lock with a hammer. Never works. Use the key. Instantly, it will open. So not only for Ishan's, my message for everybody who is new, start with the basic, start with the basic knowledge. That does all the miracle. All the problems can be solved by walking on a good spiritual path and under your favorite guru. Yes, grace of the gurus, that's what I can see everywhere. Those who are in the step number seven and still, you know, confused about what they should do. Why do you even think? What should you do? Does the world not need knowledge? Is there shortage of seekers? Or you don't find this lucrative career <laughs> to become a part of the guru field? Is not glamorous for you? You can contact me. I can make it anything you want. <laughs> you see, it's not a boring job to sit and talk. That ca- That is a tiny part of the what the guru field does. The adventure is too much. Tell me what do you want? You want to be a warrior? You want to rescue dead people from the hells? You want to be active in the higher worlds and become an ar- architect of the guru lokas? The career spans many things. There's a lot of positions vacant. What are we doing is very small compared to what is actually possible. There are people who, say, who tell, I cannot go to this world or that world. I am not even aware in my dreams. I said, it is not because you cannot do it. It is because your vision is too small. Endless opportunity there. You are trying to become aware in the dream for no reason at all. So it will never happen. Pick something big. So you see, the tide lifts all the boats, isn't it? The boat cannot lift itself. Become a part of the this whole wave of Guru field. You will be lifted, you know. What is, what is the value of dreams and all? Or this projected state? You will, you will achieve that which is impossible. You will roam around the universal memory as if it is your own territory. It's own, your own property, personal property. Miracles and all gifts and siddhis and powers. Nothing at all. You won't even use them. It's a loose change. When you have a thousand rupee note in your pocket, do you worry about coins <laughs> and all? I lost a coin. No. Have big goals. It is very beneficial to say yes. When you say yes, the miracle will happen. There is power in yes. That reminds me of the movie of Jim Carrey called Yes Man. Everybody should watch that movie. <laughs> yes Man. Very funny movie, but very good movie. He was like no to everything. Then he meets, meets a spiritual guru, you know, those kind of fake, not fake, but you know, showy gurus, fancy gurus. And he tells them, him, you should say yes to everything. And then everything becomes total madness in his life. So if you're bored of watching the spiritual videos and such things, <laughs> you should watch these movies. Great movies. Okay, Parthib has a question. Though I have been accidentally into some other areas of UM, can we have control over which areas to visit in UM? Yes. And the first thing is you should know what areas are there. Then you can expect some kind of control. Otherwise, what will you, what will you intend? Your intention will take you to a specific area. So what is my method? You go to the um, blank area, which is the place between the worlds. And you make an intention of, uh, you call your, summon your guides, you call your guides. And then the guides knows everything, you know, they know everything in the universal memory. And whatever is your wish, you should express it. Number two, what is significance of visiting other UM areas again and again? It is useful for knowledge in this world or something else. Yes. Right now, your only goal is to gain knowledge for yourself. That will be the significance. Like the basic, you know, most basic thing that any seeker wants on the path of knowledge is 
show me just another world just like earth which i can understand which i can retain in my memory if it is too different the memory will lose it it cannot recall it and you should ask your guide only this much initially show me one more so that i am convinced that this layered model is not fake <laughs> and you will be shown one more sometimes you know it looks like past it looks like my own past or it looks like you know some unfamiliar place that you have never seen it will be totally like this world earth and then we make this mistake of saying that oh i was taken to some old house somewhere in the park or something or it was a city just like any other city except people were from different races and uh, that is a mistake because you asked for a different world not a different not too different and you were given the experience so never mistake things like this then once you are uh, familiar with those things then you can ask for something strange and then you can ask for something which is totally mind blowing that i want to meet gautam budh or somebody jesus christ or something like this and you will be shown that also but by that time you will be wise enough to laugh at them it's all fake this world is fake that that which was similar to total fake the strange worlds totally garbage fake and the gautam budh jesus christ whatever you are looking at imaginary the only true thing is that which is watching this drama never forget this and the truth is right here right now do we need to go anywhere in the hunt for the universal memory somewhere you are the universal memory it is unfolding so you don't even even need even need to hurry that you know i am in this practice since 6 months and i have not received any even one single experience you see are meant to receive this experience the current experience is meant to happen are you enjoying it or not or are you waiting for the train on the platform when there is beautiful scenery beautiful beautiful town to explore so this is the disadvantage of giving too much knowledge you know people get distracted enjoy this one first and the train will take you to the next destination it is all arranged perfectly no no i am going through hell it is i cannot tolerate now that is was that was also arranged as part of the park ride <laughs> you know you know the park ride they take you through different areas in the park some you are not going to like it some you like it but you need to see the whole park because this eternity eternal time what are you going to do you create you see you dissolve you play that is what i am if you take it as like a job if you if you think it is my work then you will suffer if you think it is my life this is my experience this is my body this is my home this is my world my country my be suffering enjoyment happens in total detachment the enjoyment that is happening in attachment is just like suffering because it's going to go away it is already gone it is already fake it is already illusion that which happens in total that detachment happens in the background of the bliss which is our true nature it never goes away it's permanent is eternal the bliss or the happiness that you see in this illusion is nothing but a glimpse of what you are sometimes the clouds are parted and the <laughs> bliss shines the clouds of activity you know mental activity vritti the vritti is silenced for a few seconds and you see the glimpse of the bliss so on the path of knowledge no no need to silence just see it no need to do anything it is all, always there enjoy the clouds also <laughs> nothing wrong in the cloud they provide a variety in the endless sky boring sky of emptiness what is wrong there nothing is wrong yes nothing exists so that is why it is possible to make it anything the clay has no form so it is possible to make it into any form as soon as you give it a form and bake it in the furnace gone <laughs> possibilities are gone so be formless be purposeless be goalless that is freedom kevarun is saying can you put light on experiencer becoming the irreducible no it never happens actually i say that you know sometimes because there is no other explanation since there is no separation between the experience and the experiencer what is what can we say in language under the limits of the intellect is that the experience is the experiencer when uh, experience happens 
as seen in time and as seen as irreducible it is that which is the experience only at the level of non duality what can we say is that that which is appearing you know whatever we call as irreducible is it separate from me no and the intellect stops there because it sees it as separate but cannot comprehend what is happening so i am the space that becomes the irreducible appears for a while and then dissolves you can picture it as freezing air and this is only metaphor do not think that it is true there is no i mean no comparison at all but our intelli- intelligence has a limit what is happening when i say that when you see the red you become the red now how to comprehend this at the level of non duality that is what is there isn't it no separation between the red and that which witnesses the red there is nobody no nothing there which witnesses and there is nothing there which, which appears as red so already beyond intellect it's already beyond intellect you can be that you can be the red and you you can be the witness of the red and you can be the same two things at the same time yes i am that but how to understand it you know there is a metaphor of freezing air imagine you are the air now there a part of the air freezes and takes on a shape it becomes let us say a human body it turns into some part of the some parts of the air the freeze and they turn into a statue of a human man you are the air you have frozen you have become the frozen statue now it's not going to last the air becomes air again flows again so since you are air you are universal you are everywhere you know and these forms they keep appearing in you It's frozen holograms frozen images they are not frozen permanently they then dissolve into air this is a very good metaphor which those who have visualization you know skills they will be able to see it immediately the things appear in me they appear to be solid for a while solid does not mean solid matter you see they take a shape they take a form for a while and then they dissolve isn't that happening all the time yes so i am becoming everything i am becoming all the forms all the that is non essential part of the air the essential part of the air is being air the substance of the air the form appears there a solidified substance because it is not there because it's fake it cannot stay and because air is always moving it is dissolved same way i am the existence which is emptiness and this emptiness takes forms it has all the possibilities because it is emptiness you see <laughs> nothing binds it and it takes not only one form at one time it takes countless forms eternally that is how it is the dream is the dreamer and the dreamer is the dream so it is very beautiful mind blowing amazing and everything and that is what everything is that is what your first chapter in the program says isn't it you know this much the solid air metaphor don't need program <laughs> don't need anything it's all details after this too much detail this this thing is so simple and so so beautiful do not try to picture it from a third person point of view you know you become the air and see what happens now why did i say air not like space like everybody else you know great gurus always say gagano opanam i am like the sky i am like the space no our intellect intellect does not have the capacity to imagine that space taking a form although you can your intellect will resist and it will say oh there is nothing there take form so air give it a substance such a minute substance subtle substance and then then the intellect is no problem imagining that the air particles are coming together and they're forming an image you can touch it you can be it you can move it around then you dissolve it you can imagine you can animate this thing like this you do it two three times and you will know how the experiencer becomes the irreducible <laughs> that that much can be done just only this much can be done there is no other way to know it except being it and you are already that already you are already doing it you are becoming everything and you are also dissolving it unbecoming since it is not happening in time we say nothing happens nothing really happens now the more you think about it the more you try to grasp it it will be totally ineffective that is running the engine without uh, putting the car in gear 
if ineffective this much is okay so this human form is me <laughs> finally you see you can relax you are under stress for the whole day because i told you to be not the body not the person not the mind and now you are so tense where should i put this body now <laughs> looks like that i'm stuck with it many people complain that day i got a phone from somebody i know everything but i i don't feel like i'm separate from the body that means you don't know the whole thing you know only half you know up to the duality what about non duality non duality says i am the body <laughs> accept it you're not stuck you are it you have taken this form solidified for a while is nothing solid there is it all illusion when you dream in the night there is a body isn't it there is a world there are relatives and all that drama is there when you wake up do you feel like i was stuck there there will be a feeling for 5 minutes possible but is yes, you are stuck in that body with these people in this scenario in the dream yes that is momentary it is your own will that has given that form to you and you are everything there you are not only that dream person you are everything in the dream that is what you know after waking up you don't say that you know the buildings were brought from my neighborhood and the people were my friends they came in my dream from outside it is all you after waking up you say i became the dream but you know do people don't go to that extent this they are capable of saying i saw the dream we never go into non duality that much is a uncharted territory you see so we remain in our familiar duality where we are the boss here and we say i am the witness of what is happening it's more natural somehow to say that those who are in advait vedant they will say like this those who are in the buddhism or other non dual fields they will they will just say emptiness you see they feel uncomfortable in saying i am the experiencer what about the other they will say what about the mind like what this person will say then because both are not me they say no i am not going to even use this word i they hate the word i so drop it no need because that is what i like you know the word i has a power in it because immediately puts you into the stage of iness when i say emptiness takes the form you are going to imagine some kind of scenario when i say you take the form then there is more nearer to what is really happening when i say you are the brahman it has bigger impact on the ego than simply saying you are the emptiness nothing <laughs> that also has an effect on the ego and the ego is shocked like he was saying so whatever you prefer call it emptiness call it me call it i it's all one oneness it is appearing like this beyond intellect what can you do surrender become the witness